So look what I have here. So I have a brand new LD18 mini excavator thumb and a brand new AMI 36 inch digging bucket. You may ask yourself, Chris, why do you need another one? You already have one on here. Well, I do. And that is the very first one and that is a prototype. And the great thing about AMI is I was able to build that. We built it together. And now since that's a prototype, we kind of figured out with some use what worked and didn't work. And one thing that I did not like about that thumb is when the stick is at 90 degrees, the thumb is about, I got the tape measure here. Let's see what it measures. When the bucket is flat on the ground, stick at 90 degrees, the thumb is around six and a half inches off the ground. So I noticed when I was using this, it's very hard to grab stuff because you've got to have the stick like three quarters of the way out, if not farther. Um, if you try to grab anything from the stick at 90 degrees inward, it's very hard to grab stuff. So we made some modifications on the new thumb to allow it to go, or it should go all the way between the bucket teeth right now, is, uh, is the way I hope it's designed to be. And But that was pretty much the main thing on that. Getting it where it travels down farther, either we changed the geometry in the cylinder and just made it where it's a little more versatile to be able to grab stuff and uh, a little more operator friendly. And on the bucket, I'll have to reposition the machine to show you on that. Um, the ear is is pretty tall on the back so with the back pin being up so high you get a lot of curl so you can pretty much curl the bucket it's great for loading trucks because you don't spill dirt the only downfall is you don't get a whole lot of travel in your dump side so when the cylinder is retracted all the way and you have the bucket all the way in it's hardly got any angle up close to kind of dump so um on this bucket right here we've modified it so that it has a second ear uh, on the ear here it's got a second set of holes so that you can adjust the pin to say you're loading trucks you need that extra curl you put the pin right there if you're doing a lot of digging and you need the bucket to dump a little closer to you you can move the pin down to here most likely i'll always run it to right here um, because i just i do a whole lot more digging with it than i do loading trucks and i don't need all that curl i need more of the bucket to roll all the way back and get the dirt out without having to stick out so far so i'm going to move that pin down to there but first let me show you um a before and after so right now you can see the thumb is about six and a half inches off the ground with the stick at 90 degrees i'm going to raise that up and then i'm going to take the bucket and curl it all the way in roll it all the way out and show you the dump angle and then uh, once I change it to the new bucket, we'll see the difference. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about right now. The bucket is rolled all the way back. Cylinder will not go back any farther. And the bucket is pretty much almost flat on the ground. So when you're digging, you've got to like really stick out to get the dirt to fling out of the bucket. Now let me show you how much curl it has uh, being in that higher pin set. Just a little bit. So literally you can like, you can literally dump the dirt out of the bucket uh, by curling it. So like I said, it's great for loading trucks that way. I'd just rather have the more dump rotation on that. So let me go ahead and get this unbanded from the pallet. I've got to take this thumb off and uh, go ahead and put that one on. And then we'll change the buckets around.
So first things first, I need to make sure that my hydraulic fittings actually match up. I'm not feeling confident about it because that one's looking a whole lot bigger than the uh, fitting size on the new cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and check this before I go any farther. So if it doesn't fit, I don't have the, everybody's closed. Mm. So, moment of truth, I can already tell that's not going to fit. Well, no need to go any farther. And here we are a week later at the same step we were a week ago. So it all came down to this fitting right here that I just dropped into rocks. Um, let me clean that off. So this new cylinder has a different, it's a smaller uh, thread for the fitting that goes to the hose. So the hose screws on here uh, that one right there was a larger diameter, so therefore it would not work. And evident, evidently, this was not a very common uh, fitting. So, got that ordered, and now I've had time to uh, try it again. So, here we are now at the same step I let off, left off at a week ago. I'm going to go ahead and I cut the valves off. I got the bolt out for the pin. I'm going to go ahead and take that hose off, drop the cylinder down, and... Go ahead and knock that pin out, remove the cylinder out of the way, uh, I mean the thumb out of the way, and then go ahead and slide this new thumb over and hook everything back up in the opposite of. And here we are today, a week later. I finally got the uh, fitting here. Well, I, actually I got it the first of the week. I just have not had time to uh, come down here and work on it. So this new cylinder required a different fitting for the, the hose screws on here, but that was a different end that uh, screws into the cylinder. That one had a larger fitting, so it would not interchange with this one. And evidently that's not a very common fitting. So uh, not, it was kind of hard to come by. So I'm at the same spot where I left off last time. I've got the locking bolt out of the thumb pin. Uh, valves turned off for the hoses. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the hoses off, take that pin out, let the cylinder down, and then go ahead and knock this pin out right here. And that should, uh, cause the thumb to drop off. I've got the, there shouldn't be any pressure on the coupler or the thumb. I have the block of wood actually sitting on the end of the stick. So everything should just kind of be um, kind of hanging there. So when I knock that off, it should just kind of easily drop off. I can scoot this over here and uh, go ahead and get, hook that back up.
free. So now that thumb is off, I'm going to lay it up out of the way and go ahead and hook up the new thumb. I think I'm going to do this one a little different. I think I'm going to hook up the thumb uh, first, the the uh, cylinder right there, and go ahead and hook the hoses up to it. I think I need to spin the cylinder over so that the control is uh, operating the same way because if it's reversed, it'll uh, operate backwards. That one's got the cylinder, I mean the uh, tube on this side, and this one's backwards. So unless the cylinder's different, it should should just be, I can just turn and rotate that around and go ahead and hook that back up. That way the thumb will be hanging, all the weights from should be hanging from that mount up there, and I should be able to I'll possibly put the pin in like it hanging like that, and it shouldn't shouldn't be quite as difficult, I don't think find out here in a second
put a little bit of grease on them, they'll actually uh, stick together. So there we have it. I got the pin uh, hammered back through there. Ended up having to come in from the other direction. The, I didn't realize the pin was tapered more on this end than the other one. It just made it easier to slide through there. And I didn't want to possibly damage that grease fitting uh, trying to beat it through there with the hammer. So let's go ahead and see just how much more travel this thumb has. Let me hook to the new bucket and we'll uh, get the stick back at the 90 degree point and see how much farther does the uh, thumb goes down. So check that out so i put it uh pretty much the thumb is all the way down and i curled the bucket into where i'd be able to grab something i'm actually in past the 90 degree point just a little bit not much but just a little bit 
So that shows you just how much more this new design uh, will allow that thumb to travel down. And it's just going to make uh, grabbing stuff a whole lot easier. Um, before I was having to reach way out here to grab stuff. Now I can grab, you know, log sticks, branches, everything within the 90 degree point uh, of the machine. It's just going to make it a whole lot more uh, handy on far as, you know, moving stuff around and, and trying to grab stuff without having to uh, track back and forth so much. So I think that was a huge design improvement. And uh, actually, yeah, I've already moved the pin into the lower um, mounting bracket. So let's see how much more dump travel I have now. So if you remember before, when the stick was all the way in, the bucket was completely flat when the uh, cylinder was rolled all the way back. So let's see the uh, difference on that now. So yeah, this is definitely a huge improvement. You can see how much farther the bucket rolls back now with that farther uh, pin placement down a little farther on the back of the bucket. Now, when you're working up close, you can actually dump the dirt out of the bucket before. Uh, as you remember, the bucket was flat on the ground right now, so it's, it's got a good distance that it'll roll back. Let's see how much it'll curl. Uh, the only problem with this is you lose some of your curl, but unless you're loading trucks, you really don't need the bucket to curl up that much. So let's let's just see what it'll do. I know when I stick all the way out now, it should, uh, the bucket should go all the way out and pretty much not hit the ground. The, the stick should hit the ground before the bucket does. We're right there at it. And then our curl function. I mean, that's still plenty. So if you remember before, heck, I think it's still curls just as much as it did I mean yeah I don't think we lost much I mean it's still yeah I don't think we lost much uh, curl at all we definitely have a whole lot more travel that's gonna be nice I'm excited about that I'm more excited about the thumb going all the way down farther now so literally I can grab stuff like right here now Oh yeah. So that is so much better. I'm really, really happy with that now. Everything is just perfect. Fits together nicely. You can grab stuff closely. So if you are looking for this thumb, this is actually my design. This is the AMI LD18 mini excavator thumb. It does have the three tines to go in between the bucket teeth to help grab stuff a little bit easier this is a 36 inch ami digging bucket and the let's dig 18 or the ld18 uh mini excavator thumb if you are interested in this you can reach out to them and purchase it for your own so i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease in these fittings and uh be time to use it here 